Hey guys, I'm back for a quick after work uh, mini brew. Uh, so for that, instead of using that system, I'm just using the, the urn here. So I'm just bringing out the water to strike temperature. Then we'll add the grain bag and the grains. So I'm going to be brewing up a stout. Um, and it's a recipe I've sort of tweaked myself, but it's uh, got a, quite a few ingredients. The bulk is uh, ale malt. Uh, then it's going to have some wheat, some light chocolate, some flaked oats, some Munich, some roasted barley, obviously being a stout, and some dark crystal. And then it's going to be hopped with uh, goldings. So, uh, yeah, so we'll get this going, we'll mash in, and then we'll come back. Okay, so I've mashed in the grains, giving that a good stir, make sure everything's nice and wet. And we are going to be mashing at 68 degrees. Um, just a quick shout out to uh, Tiffany and Jason at Hauraki Homebrew, my local homebrew shop, um, for getting this order put together so quickly. I was a spur of the moment brew, but... Um, they were kind enough to get these grains milled up, etc. So thank you for that. Check out um, their website below if you live uh, in New Zealand. Okay, so now that's all mashed in, we'll put the lid on and we'll let it sit. I'm just doing, because I'm doing an after work brew, I'm just going to be doing a 30 minute mash and boil. So we will come back at the end of the mash. Okay, so we've finished the mash and I've just pulled the grains out and now we are going to sparge with I think it's 76 degree water I've got um, just to get my pre-boil volume. Obviously it's going to be completely different for your own system. But anyway, we'll get this done and then we'll bring up the liquid to the boil and then we'll be back for the uh, first hot drop. So we'll see you shortly. Okay, so we've reached the start of the boil. So we're going to add in our 30 minute additions. This looks like it may boil over, so I might just switch it off quickly while we put the hops in here. So yep, there we go, 30 minute addition. Let's turn that back on. And I will have to keep a close eye on this, I think, because I can see this... Um, boiling over but we will be back for the next hop drop cheers guys okay so the boil has finished what I'm going to do now is just do a bit of a poor man's whirlpool. Uh, the main reason I'm doing this is uh, not so much to cool it down, but all the, although I'm trying to do that as well, but it's mainly to um, create a cone in the middle of uh, all the hot, any other sort of solids. Uh, just cone them away from the, um, the tap, so when I transfer it, I'm not transferring too much um, unwanted matter into the fermenter. So we'll be back. Okay, so brew day is done. Um, I've pitched the yeast and it's sitting over there in the fermentation box. Um, it's getting cool enough now that I don't need a fridge. Uh, so using the fermentation box and I've just got the heat pad hooked up to the Inkbird uh, temperature controller just to make sure the temperature doesn't drop too low um, and I'm going to ferment at 18 degrees but uh, yeah I'm really happy with how that brew went I mean it's quick after work brew 30 minute mash and boil um, so yeah can't go too far wrong so only took two hours to do um, but the recipe I brewed up is inspired by a recipe out of this book which I can highly highly recommend big book of clone recipes 300 there from uh, brew your own magazine 
and the recipe is based on a beer from Sand Creek Brewing Company which is over in the States I think uh, it's called Oscar's Chocolate Oatmeal Stout and I've basically um, taken the list of ingredients they've listed here and I've had to substitute out quite a few for uh, local Gladfields uh, malts um, use the same hops, Golden Hops they suggested Y Yeast 1968 or WLP002 uh, English ale yeast but because I'm doing such a small batch um, I've just gone with my usual um, dry yeast and I've ended up using SO4 because it was easy to get hold of so there is the recipe there I might do a, uh, a screenshot of this and put it at the end of the video if anyone's interested in taking a closer look um, so yeah so that's uh, that's the recipe inspiration and here is the hydro sample came out at one point 050 so a couple of points under what I was expecting see all the craps sort of uh, settled out at the bottom there the nice dark color these tubes don't do the color justice because it's so thin uh, but it should come out at around 50 SRM in color um, obviously it's all about the malts um, there's, there's some definite roast there, but it's, I noticed in the recipe, it's, uh, there wasn't a truckload of uh, roasted barley. So it's got quite a, what I call more of a smooth, a smooth roast, which is actually will suit the uh, lower ABV of this beer. It's going to be around 5, 5.2%. Um, and I'm sure I'm picking up some, some chocolate from the chocolate malt. maybe some hints of coffee as well so I'm really happy with how that sample's tasting um, so yeah that's the uh, brew day done guys thanks for watching I'm gonna finish doing a few few more bits of cleaning up um, and then I'll catch you in the next video over and out thanks for watching if you've got any questions sing out and I'll uh, get back to you cheers